Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for September 12th, 2016. So, we have the Moon in Capricorn today and it's shining Mercury. These are good days in uh, career situations. Everything work-related is heightened. It's a good time to do uh, to, to take long-term decisions. Even though Mercury is in retrograde, today Mercury is in Kazemi, in the heart of the Sun. It is empowered by the Sun. And remember that retrograde movements are just times that we think differently, that our thought processes, that our navigation through life is really from the other side of the coin. You know, we, we are allowed to second-guess ourselves and that could be a very beneficial thing as well. And today with the trine to the Moon, we could be calculated, we could have common sense, even though we're thinking differently. So it's a good day to navigate through all these difficult waters and to reach solutions that could take us ahead in life, to make decisions, to plan your life. There's a sextile to Chiron today as well, which means that we are um, we're feeling stronger about the way we interact with the more conflicted and more sensitive and, and hurt places we have inside, our more um, places that we feel that we are, we've been, that, that we are weaker in a sense. And, and we feel better about the way we've been handling them recently. And that gives us a sense of strength and that's good. There's a square to Uranus suggesting that we should really be mindful of the things that we can sacrifice in order for those mechanical wheels to mer work more smoothly one with, uh, one with each other so our dreams can manifest into reality. Because manifesting things into reality is about compromising. And it's about understanding what we can compromise and what we should never compromise. And that square could be challenging for us, really challenging us to compromise over things that we don't want to compromise about. And then the moon becomes void, of course, at around 1100 hours uh, a.m. Central European time. That's around 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and goes into Aquarius only at around uh, uh, half, half past 11 Central European time. That's 1730 Eastern Standard Time. So that won't be a good time until it enters Aquarius for new, new dates or, or first, uh, first dates or beginnings of any kind. The sun is still squaring Mars. This is a time to be careful from accidents and from fights. And Venus, the planet of relationships and satisfaction, is squaring Pluto. So there's a challenge there too. In, in one hand, we really, uh, on the one hand, we really want intense interactions. We want more satisfaction. We feel this volcanic lava flowing within us, really tempting us to whirl up in an emotional spiral. And then we have a more calculated place, on the other hand, our, our logical, cerebral mind, looking at the long-term consequences and about limitations and, and codes of conduct and morality. And that animal, that beast, needs to deal with the human. <laughs> and they need to find a way to live with each other. So we could be challenged on a moral ground. We could be challenged uh, regarding the lack of satisfaction in our lives, especially in terms of relationships, money, and anything else that is sensual and, and provide satisfaction in this materialistic world. So, I hope we all fare well with all these challenges. And I want to thank you for listening. And if you want me for private consultations or lessons, or want to study as, uh, evolutionary astrology with me, you're more than welcome to stay in touch. All the details are on the slide at the end of the video. Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.